What's up guys? We are Trev and Chels. We're here on Icon of the Seas and today we're taking you on a full ship tour. Just a heads up, this video is probably going to be pretty long. Eight neighborhoods, 20 decks, seven pools, over 7,000 people. Like this ship is insane. We have been on our, this is our seventh day. Yes. And we're still discovering new things, but we think we're starting to get a grip. So I hope you guys are excited. Here we go. Okay, one of the new features here on Icon of the Seas is destination elevators. Now please do not cancel us this early in the video. You know Trev and Chels don't take elevators, only stairs, but this is for We're you guys. Just to show you guys. So the way that it works is you select the floor you want to go to, that elevator will take you there with minimal stops. No more stopping on every floor because somebody has been pressing the up or down button. <laughs> so I'm going to select three because that's where the fun starts on this ship. We're going to go to elevator L. Which is going to be over here. You can see it already has our destination. So we'll stop at 15 and then we'll go all the way to three. All right, guys, we're going to start here on deck three. Deck one is all crew area and deck two is crew area. So here on deck three, you've got the medical center, which hopefully you're not going to need that on your vacation, but it is here if you need it. On the other side, we're on the forward and the aft, you have conference centers. This is where it gets interesting, the music hall. So in the music hall, they're going to have different shows, different activities. They have some like trivia and things happening in here. Tonight, there's a rock show. What? Yeah, and the venue is epic. So think like party venue, you've got concerts, you've got silent discos, you've got all kinds of things going on and it's like some kind of challenge happening right now. Old school rock and roll theme. Like look at this. Look at these velvet couches with the gold pillows, with the marble table. Like are you serious? And the neons on the wall. This must be the place. So right now they're set up for some sort of a challenge. Not sure what's going on. Looks really epic though. Look at all the neon on the walls, on the ceiling. Look at all the lighting. If you look back here, look at the lighting setup for when they have bands and performers in here. Like this is a situation. So there's a full bar and seating area downstairs. There's a full bar and seating area upstairs. This is the ultimate party venue. And then since we came up, we are now on deck four. So going right outside the music hall. Love this entrance, by the way. This is insane. This is where you find the Royal Theater. Now all the way forward on deck four is the Royal Theater. This is the matinee showing right now of The Wizard of Oz. We're going to go see it tonight, but we have heard it's incredible. Absolutely beautiful spot to enjoy a show. I think sometimes they'll have comedians and things in here too. So this is kind of a main central entertainment point of the ship. So leaving the theater, we're gonna go back through the upstairs of the music hall, which you guys have already seen, but that's gonna take us to the promised land. These entrances to music hall are insane. I love it so much with the neon. So welcome to what I'm going to boldly say is the prettiest casino on Royal Caribbean. I agree. It feels so big. I don't know if the ceilings are taller or if it's just because everything's brighter, but it, it looks and feels so feels much larger. Bigger. The machines aren't on top of each other. Hey, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good vibes all around. <laughs> and people are winning money, so I guess it's... <laughs> so not only does the venue feel brighter and bigger, but also everything is way more spread out, so you're not constantly on top of each other. Mm -hmm. When it starts to get busy at night, Everybody is getting a little crazy. You're not gonna get run over in here. It's awesome. We're gonna try to find some numbers on like number of tailor table games and slot machines and things like that, but it definitely at least feels bigger so far. So if you guys are casino goers, you're definitely gonna love this one. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this casino bar. Are you kidding me? So this feature I actually really like because if you're not a gambler but you're traveling with people who might want to, this is a great spot. You can have a drink, hang out. You don't feel like you're taking up space at one of the tables or at one of the games where you're still a part of the party. It's just so bright and beautiful. I love all the white fabric, all the gold, all the, it's opulent, but it's classy, it's clean, it's modern. It still has kind of some of the red and black and darker vibes of a casino, but it's just elevated. Yeah, and it's not gonna make you tired when you come in here at 2 a.m., you're still gonna be ready. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. So many slot machines like i'm serious there are so many slot machines your game whatever it is you're probably gonna find it here for example for chels she has her favorite slot machine in the world here on icon of the seas the beer girls the beer girls heidi and helga they shake their beers and other things they as you play 
Lance and I like this song. Yes, it's very good. Welcome to Heidi's and join us for a beer. Okay, well, anyway, casino is great. If you like the casino, you're gonna love Icon. Also, I'm not sure what entrance is better because Music Hall is pretty cool, but this is Beautiful. I mean, what is this? Look it up here. This is so cool. Look at the little teardrop things. You've got Casino Royale hanging down from the ceiling. That is an entrance. This entrance makes me feel like I'm going to win money. That's an entrance for winners, for <laughs> sure. Welcome to MDR, the main dining room. So main dining room is on three decks. We are on deck four right now. Tonight looks like Taste of France. Wow. Like, you know, a little secret. Trevor and I like the chicken cordon bleu and the tenderloin. Tender <laughs> and always, if you can get the French onion soup, if you can get, oh, what's the, the garlic one? Is it just garlic, garlic soup? soup? It's, it's amazing. Soup. Oh my goodness. So every night is going to have a different theme. Again, tonight is French. You'll have Italian. You'll have all kinds of different cuisines from around the world. It's really cool. At your main dining table, you'll have the same waiters throughout the entirety of your trip. So you get to know yeah. them. You have a lot of fun with them. We also love the specialty dining on the ship, but honestly, main dining has been making a comeback for yeah. us. And a fun fact about main dining is that when you're planning your trip, Right before you sail, probably two to three weeks, they input the menu so you can decide which nice remote is important for you to be here or to be at a specialty dining. So I really love that. I'm always looking to see what's for dinner. I mean, this is just spectacular. Look at that chandelier. This is unbelievable. So many tables. Is it three or four decks? You remember? It's three decks, so it starts on three. We have four, we're in the middle, and then five is the final. My goodness, that is so beautiful. You've got the ocean all around you. This is a great spot to eat. Everything is just so beautiful on this. Chelsea just pointed this out. I haven't even noticed this yet, but it's just so pretty. One thing I've noticed about Icon of the Seas is that as much as it has all of the up-to-date things, some of the real cruise opulence that has always been adored has stayed and I think this is one of those rooms. It's truly amazing how many delicious meals they turn out in here every single day for so many guests. And how many espresso martinis. We're headed up to deck five to show you guys the most impressive promenade in the fleet it's but the best one. we did want to point out the art on the ship and we always appreciate the art. Yeah you guys know if you've watched our other videos we always love the art on the ships but it is so cool so much of the art here is then expanded out onto the wall. So this is the art piece. Like if we back up here and hopefully not fall down the stairs, you can see they chose a piece and then they put it over the entire wall. It's and you see it everywhere. And oftentimes it's like the wall will be the design and then you'll have like a 3D piece that pops out in the middle or like it is extremely, so, extremely well done. So we've made it to five. Deck five. This is an aggressive five. deck. There's a lot going on. You're gonna spend a lot of time in this promenade, definitely more than you ever have before on any other class of ship. And you're gonna want to because it is epic. Starting from the aft and going forward, we have Next Cruise where you can get a discount on your next cruise. We have Port Merchants where you can do your duty-free shopping if you wanna get that really nice bottle of whiskey or any other things that your heart desires. They've got it in here. Pretty sure they sell cigars. Oh, I see those Nutella Bas Buenos in there. Basic uh, Nutella what? The Buenos, those things you like with the Nutella, the wafer things. Oh, oh, the Buenos, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got snacks, we've got alcohol. Pretty sure they're, oh yeah, they've got cigars right there. So if you've got a vice, they can fill it. They can fill it. Chelsea has something very, very important to share. The most important thing on deck five is a very good boy. He's peeing on the lamppost. I don't think he's being good. Oh, that's good boy. This is the most ridiculous art sculpture I have ever seen. Anywhere, honestly, anywhere. I don't know if I've ever seen a peeing dog art sculpture, but I'm here for I don't think you guys needed to see this in, but I'm just gonna give you guys the whole thing. Yep, there's a peeing dog in the promenade. Good boy. To the right of the good boy, we have guest services. Now they are going to be the people who can help you out with anything you might need during your vacation. And to the left, you'll probably spend a bit more time here, hopefully, than guest services is Point and Feather. This is the pub on the ship, and honestly, I love it. It's quite a bit different. A lot of the pubs on other ships are smaller. They're much more contained. This one, they've kind of opened up the entire front wall. It's still dark and moody. It's still a pub. You still have pub drinks. You still have live music. You still have all kinds of stuff, but you get a little bit more action in the promenade. Yeah. Also, I don't even think you know this yet. Do you know what's back in the corner? No. They have darts in the pub. Oh, How cool is that? I mean, it's a simple setup, not a whole lot to it, but a dartboard in the pub is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm really excited about two things on their new menu. The Pim's Cup. The Pim's Cup? Mm-hmm. 
If you guys are from the U.S., you probably haven't had it, and if you're not, you probably think we're crazy, but we don't have pims at home. And also the stout espresso martini. You want some Guinness in your espresso martini. We I think you're talking a big game. We were talking to the gentleman who created the cocktails on board, and he said that it's really good. Well, I think I will really enjoy that, because I actually do kind of like Guinness sometimes, if you're drinking a lot of it. But... I don't think you're gonna like he that that I much, but we can try it. There's a couple specialty espresso martinis on the ship, so we have our work cut out for us, and I think we're doing another video on a lot of the bars and signature cocktails. But yeah, Point and Feather, absolute vibe. Still has the moody, dark pub vibe, but you're just more involved with everything else in the ship. Now, we have yet to frequent this bar, and I don't know how, because it looks incredible. This is the 1400 bar here in the promenade. And it is just such a vibe. Look at all the wood on the ceiling. Look at the That's menu. Cool. All the plants, all the wood, all the white. Like, it, it's just so bright and airy. The really cool thing about 1400 is it's dedicated to the art of innovation, which is what Royal Caribbean prides themselves in. So all of the drinks that you can get are dedicated to older features of older ships. The Flow Rider, the Millennium Bellini, the Eagle, there was one back here, Rising Tides for the Rising Tide Bar. That's so Every cool. Every drink here has something to do with another ship in the fleet. It is so unique. I sense maybe another video coming on. We'll have to check it out. Also, apart from the pool bars and the hideaway and things all the way up on deck 17, this is the only bar on the sh She's thinking about it. It's the only bar on the ship with an outdoor seating area, which is just incredible think about grabbing a cocktail from inside and then sitting out here watching the ocean go by we've got kind of like six out of ten weather today it's very windy it's a little yeah. bit chilly it's still beautiful so to just sit here and watch the ocean go by would be pretty nice i would just like to clarify that we are saying it's chilly remember that we are coming from florida and it's in the 60s 50s at yeah, it's, night. it's not so it's, it's if not you're chilly coming for vacation don't think you're gonna be cool you're probably more adjusted than we are. While we're out here, anybody who's interested in running on the track, it's on deck five on the ship, just so you know. Do you want to tell them about your obsession? Okay, there are live orchids all over the ship. You're gonna see a ton somewhere else, I'm not gonna tell you. But guys, we have an orchid at home that we have been doing everything within our power to keep that puppy alive. Well, she died for like 12 months but or 14 months and she bloomed right me. before we left. So I just, I don't envy the person in charge of this, but I am in awe of them. Truly very, very beautiful. And now they are alive. We double checked and triple checked. Honestly, even more beautiful is that behemoth behind you, the pearl. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen in my life. So this is actually a significant structural part of the ship. Like this this is what kind of holds the ship together in a sense. It's kind of the central piece of the ship, but it's also an art piece. So instead of being like a boring post that a lot of ships have or something like that, they made an art piece out of it. It is beautiful. Every single one of these panels is on its own little articulating arm. So they ebb and flow and make designs. Sometimes you've got music that starts playing. It changes colors. It glows on the inside and outside. So you can see it from Central Park, which we'll see soon. Like it is just such, a cool piece. Behind the pearl, you can ask questions about shore excursions and things like that. We have the Royal Caribbean merch shop, which Chels brought three bags back to Playmakers last night. Listen, there was one thing in those bags for me. Only $11. <laughs> First mate. In dog money, that's free. Did you buy these last night? No. You didn't. I didn't, because you know why? I'll you came in here unsupervised and you didn't why. buy them? No, because I had them in my hand and I said, I think Trevor's going to be sad if I get these without him. So I really oh, fair enough. I really like the first mate shoe or the flip flop. The flip flop is nice. He can be on vacation. We did get our icon ship. Very excited about that. Across from that, we've got Starbucks. We've got the collection, which is kind of like a purse store. We're just going to talk about it and not go in there. High-end handbags. High-end handbags. They have Chanel and Hermes and stuff in there. So that's... That's a big boy shop. Right? How much do you think this one is? I'll, I'll let you get that I one. The talk. baby? Like yeah, you can look at it from the outside. I like her. As long as you stay on this side of the glass, we're in good shape. No, yeah, we're, we're just, we're gonna go by. You thought I was gonna take you in there? No, we're walking by. I thought by. you were gonna be like, 
for the vlog. Let's go in. It'll be funny. I thought. That is a dangerous game I'm not willing to play. Sometimes never, the roulette wheel I've lands on zero. We've never bought a handbag on a cruise ship. So that's I true. Uh, that's not true. Wonder. Uh, that's not true. You liar. You, you did get one. Sorrento's is over here. Sorrento's is very, very good. I don't know if they've changed the recipe or what, but we've had it a couple times, and I'm... It could be placebo. I could just be high on Icon, but I'm... Uh, Sorrento's is good. It's very, very good. I feel like they have more topping options now. They've kind of changed it into more of like an open concept kitchen where you can actually see the process, which is kind of fun. We've got cheese, pepperoni, barbecue could I chicken. Can slices of pepperoni, please? Anything else for you? That's it for me. I'll do a slice of pepperoni and a slice of barbecue chicken, please. Thank you. Oh, the big one. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm oh, hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. These look like paper plates, but they're plastic, and there's a dangerous thing in the corner for Chelsea. There's two sneaky changes here. The first one is that you can get a Heineken here with your pizza. I don't think I've ever seen that. There's been bars nearby, but you couldn't get it at Sorrento. Right. And serve yourself or you. <laughs> oh, the non-Americans watching this just cringed. But it's That's okay, because it's so much better than the stuff that you guys put on your food. They have all the toppings that you could need. We've got Parmesan, oregano, and red pepper flakes. And this is a little, I was gonna say halfway treat, but we're on deck five and there are 20 decks on this ship. But you know what, it's three o'clock and we don't even have dinner until five, or until five, until nine tonight. So we can have a couple snacks between here and there. Vibes are high, bellies are full. Yes. Across from Sorrento's we have. Spotlight karaoke. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Karaoke's not my fa- I, I've, it's been growing on me. I'm very self-conscious about my singing. I, it takes a few. You know, we were talking about all those signature drinks. Maybe, oh, that's the key. We start at 1400. Oh, we taste the history of Royal Caribbean through like <laughs> eight to 10 flavors. And then we come over here and I'll have all the confidence in the world to let it loose. This venue is actually really great though. It's huge. So you would you would need a little confidence before you started today. And the fact again that like everything is so open to the promenade, like people are walking by, like real like watching you. You are front front and center. Oh yeah. More power to you. I think it's incredible. Very cool spot though. We have a bar in here, you have obviously all the seating here, and I think I'm not sure, but do they have private karaoke rooms I on this think ship? That, that room is over there. Most of the ships, most of the spotlights have them, so if you have a small party that you want to take back and feel a little bit more comfortable with your friends, you can do that. That's we the, did do the that Trev special. That was really fun. It was fun. Look at the squirrels on the tree that's holding up the stairs. The art on the ship is so good, and the, honestly, it's a running mate for the ping dog. Is oh, right you here. Like this one, yeah. The man in the manhole. Some sort of maintenance worker just crawling out of the ground here. This spooked Chelsea the first day. She was like, "Whoa, what is that thing?" Well, Paige jumped in, so then I got scared. <laughs> very, very cool commemorative piece for this very ship. Cool. I mean, if you're walking along and you aren't expecting that, it is a little. It's a little freaky. And yesterday they had a muster station there, so everybody's like <laughs> looking at their phones, worried about checking in for muster, and they're all like, "What is that?" <laughs> Next to Sorrento's, we have the Effie store, which we are going to be coming back to later on in the vlog. You guys know we bought the Royal Bling, and that came with a certificate that we need to use. Uh, Chelsea says it's for her, but we'll see. Maybe I'll find something I really there. like. The vlog was okay. on the president's, and the vlog knows that you said I got that. Yes, knows. you get the gift certificate. And then we have Solera Beauty, which is like creams and sunscreens and yeah. moisturizers and all the things that Chelsea knows everything about, and I know nothing. I actually think they're going to save me. Because I bought a whole thing of eye masks to wear in the morning and I didn't bring them. So I got oh, them, so. wow. Crisis averted. I know. Nobody what wants would to you have done? done? Looked really tired. <laughs> and we've brought it full circle here at the very front of the promenade. We have the Royal Theater where Oz, the matinee, is currently showing. <laughs> Gotta avoid the spoilers, but. She was flying on a bed, so that looks pretty that epic. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> and then behind the pearl, you've got a small seating area. This is also where you can talk to some of the photo staff, as well as I think some people will help you with uh, excursions and things like that. Yeah. But uh, you have another little seating area on the exact opposite side of the ship. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in these. 
I was just going to say that I actually love all the little quiet Heidi nooks. Because mm -hmm. someone like me, I get sensory overload and I need five minutes of quiet where Trevor's like, doesn't want that at all. Yeah, I feel that. But think, think about a nap right here. Nice cool breeze coming through. <laughs> Kicking your feet up, reading a book. Yeah, this is a vibe. And there is the running track. We'll get to that in a second. We're almost to the gym. Straight across from the Pearl, we have escalators on a cruise ship for the first time ever? Does this count against our rule? Technically, my feet are on stairs. We are, okay, honestly, if they could put escalators in for every deck, that'd be really nice, I but it is interesting. You could take an escalator down to Casino Royale, which, I mean, no better way to go and spend your money. They're gonna make it so easy for you. Hopefully you win some, but doesn't always happen that way, so. Back up top, we're gonna keep heading towards the forward, I think. Yeah, water's going that way. We're going towards the forward. And last but not least for deck five, we have the fitness center. Now, the fitness center is on two decks, deck five and six. Five is the main one, but six is where the main entrance is. So I think we're gonna go up and take you guys through that. Then we'll come back down to deck five and we'll check out the running track as well. Again, the art, are you kidding me? Look at that. Just takes over the entire wall and the staircase. All right, fitness center. This is the best Royal Caribbean gym I think I've ever seen. Without a doubt. It smells so new. Everything is literally perfect. Now, I will say, I almost feel like it's on the smaller end. Really? Especially for a ship this big. Like, I, I feel like if you really want to get a good workout in, you have to come super early or come later because yeah. we went at 8 a.m. this morning and we struggled getting on some machines and using some dumbbells. That is true. But all in all, it's not bad. I almost just tripped right there. Sorry about that. But I was gonna pretend it didn't happen. So earlier this morning, they were doing like a Pilates class in here, which is really cool. There are class activities. This is the spin room. They must be in a class right now. Nope, no class. We can take a look. Oh my goodness, there's so many bikes. <laughs> Wait, this is epic. Oh, wow. I've never done a spin class. You wanna do one? I've been Have you done one? It. No, I don't think so. What are the dumbbells for? Do you lift? Do stuff. Yeah, I think you like. Do you like, like lift dumbbells? Yeah, this is that. sick. So you have a trainer up there. It's like a live Peloton style thing. That's cool. That's really dope. Also, just look at all the views. I mean, this isn't the best example here, but think about working out in the gym where you're just watching the ocean's horizon. Views everywhere. So your classes are all upstairs, and then downstairs is the free to do as you please. Open style. weights, machines, treadmills. Oh, they've got cool. rowers, wow. they've got stair masters, they've got everything you could ever ask for. Look at this. We've got more than 10 ellipticals just in this shot. We've got a couple stair masters. We've got tons of treads. Chelsea and I hit those this morning. Now the weights area, like I said, it's very, very nice. Everything is brand new, but for a ship with 5,000 or so people, like there's just you got to pick your time that you're going to work out because there's That's two racks of dumbbells. They have a fair amount of machines and it's beautiful, but there's just a lot of people. So you got to be careful about that. What is that? Oh, An elliptical? Uh, kind of. I used to An arc things. trainer? I, did these things in college. I don't think I've ever seen this before. You like, it reminds me of like um, skiing or like snowshoeing. Oh, okay. I have seen these. Whoa, that one just looks really futuristic. I don't know. Normally you can't see like the mechanism. I <laughs> it's really cool. So we've got more bikes over here, more bikes over here, more treadmills. This was mine this morning. And you know, you're not hurting for machines. We were able to get a workout at right now. It's empty right now. It's great. It's like what one, no, two, two or three. But if you're coming in the morning, just be careful. Paige and I came at five o'clock last night and we were like the only people in the gym. Really? Yeah. So if you're a morning person, you gotta like, I don't know, aim for like six or 7 a.m. But if you can push that off, go for a mid afternoon, you'll be good to go. I'm a pre-dinner girl myself. That's really weird. And we can exit through here. So this is the deck five entrance, which is kind of in a back hallway of the running walking track. So you can follow the track and you can get here. But if you're looking to get there, like from your room, it's easier. Probably to six. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. Regret but would you like to do the whole track with me? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I lied. It's uh, 0. 0.42 miles for every lap, so That's not good. <laughs> quite the mile. We haven't run out there yet, but I just. Had heard somebody say that they were wrong. So I mean, 0. 0.4, you run two, that's almost a mile. You just do two laps and call it a mile. Easy. Sure. Cheat that's, yourself. That's 
cutting corners. Yeah. I mean, you're almost there. Just round up. <laughs> just outside of the fitness center, we have... Okay, we were able to get inside a little bit later. So this is the Crown Lounge. You've got a concierge to help you with dinner reservations and whatever else you need. And this is basically a private space for Diamond members and above. You've got food, snacks, coffee machines, a little bar. They'll rotate the menu throughout the day. So it looks like we've got some fresh fruit coming out right now. Definitely a nice place to hang out if you need a break from the hustle and bustle of the ship. So this is the attic, I believe, which is a multi-purpose space. You have comedy shows, you have nightclubs, you have all kinds of stuff. Oh wow, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm fully in. I can watch people on a date at Giovanni's and it's like I can- Set us up and I'll, I'll put the, the vlog up to it. Okay, zoom in on their business meeting. Oh yeah, that's, honestly, that's kind of fun. I, I like that though. So There's. Cool. I found one yesterday, one deck up that we're going to talk about here in a minute, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, the attic is kind of like comedy club. You'll have shows there. You'll have entertainment there. Chelsea's completely, we've, we've lost her. Uh, across from here, we have dueling pianos. I cannot wait for this. We have not been yet, but I cannot wait. I've seen videos. I've heard people talking about it. It is a full blown bar dedicated to dueling pianos. So just imagine this place packed, bartenders serving up drinks, and you have two super talented magicians going at it. We're definitely gonna be making a vlog specifically on this, or it's gonna be a major part of a future video. Yes. So stay tuned for that. We might get some clips in for you guys, but this, I've heard, is one of the best and most rowdy spot spots on the ship. So. Nighttime, dueling pianos, this is the spot to be. Fun little Instagrammable spot here. Yes, queen, slay. And then off to the right over here, something that I have, how many times have I mentioned it throughout the trip so far? The seating, the chairs. Oh, the seating, yes, you're the, obsessed with the seating. I don't know why it's so good, but the seating on this ship is just insane and it's so varied and you guys are gonna see that as we get up into the higher decks and the pool deck and stuff like that. But like, these chairs are just so cool. You won't find these anywhere else but this spot. And they're a vibe. These ones over here, super plush, super comfortable, totally different. Like you won't find these anywhere else, but they're a vibe. They've really gone all out on the places to park your butt on this ship. So we're gonna show you guys more of those as we go along. But to start, cause I wanna end where we can go up, we're gonna be going to Giovanni's. I mean, seriously, what a cool concept though, to have some lounge seating up there. Old girl is, no, she's passed you. out. <laughs> she's having to, she, those chairs work, I'm telling you. That's why I wanted to do it yesterday. You guys made fun of me. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. I mean, normally above Sorrento's, honestly, it's just kind of wasted space. But here they made a nice little hangout spot. There are so many little nooks and crannies that you can find on the ship. Really, really well done and thought out. And this, this spot, might be my favorite thing. That it's open? The fact that on both sides of the promenade, if you are on the upstairs deck, you can walk straight through. Every other ship on both sides, it's locked off. So if you're up here and you're trying to get like up across, you have to go out and down and around and then back up. You it's, don't have to do that here. It's so funny because we've been conditioned to do that, that all four of us, are, we're here with friends Paige and Lance, all four of us kept stopping and being like, oh, we got to go down and then being like, no, we don't. Uh, genuinely, like quality of life, the fact that you can walk through, it's the silliest thing. And if you haven't been on a ship before, or you haven't really noticed it, this probably sounds ridiculous, but it honestly is really nice. One thing we forgot to highlight on the bottom floor of the promenade is the floor to ceiling windows that we have. So over on this side, there's two story floor to ceiling windows, letting in natural light. Look at how it opens the space up, brightens it up. This is one of the best looking Giovanni's we've ever seen. And then over on the other side, you've got three stories of windows. And that's part of the reason why this just feels so good, so bright, and so open. Guys, I just disappointed myself. I was looking at all the pizza ingredients, and I thought that was chopped garlic. Is it cheese? It's cheese. Oh. If they had a bucket of chopped garlic that big, all right. Royal Caribbean, if you happen to watch this video, a little piece of feedback from Trev and Chels. A bucket of chopped up. garlic. Just so drop excited. it off in her fridge in her room. But yeah, back to these windows. Look at that over there. I mean, that is what truly makes this promenade. It's crazy how just windows changes the entire space. You can't normally see the ocean, really. Like yeah. it. 
normally when you're in the promenade, you have no idea what time of day it is. Yep. It's crazy. It is so, so, so nice. Get over there my favorite piece of art is over there so stay tuned giovanni's looks amazing it tastes just as good as ever they now have a bar the bar is cool in giovanni's so again you have that natural walkway all the way through deck six here so if you decide you're a little parched along the way why not stop at the geo bar <clears throat> why not stop <clears throat> why not stop at the geo no, I'm just kidding. We can we can keep going. Oh, we want to get this oh. tour done. Oh, the, like, why does he keep clearing? I didn't actually out? want. <laughs> you thought I was taking outtakes. I was trying to make a reference that maybe we should what was wrong with stop you at the geo bar. <laughs> we need to focus. We need to finish this first, and then we'll enjoy. Okay. Schooner bar is popping with the drink menu. Every single bar on this ship has new specialty cocktails for each location. They are all so good. It is worth a trip to Icon just for that. That is true. You're not even going to be able to get through all of them in seven days because there's so many. Like, it's it's unreal. In this bar, the lavender martini and the screwball drink. And the toasted marshmallow old-fashioned. Well, I was talking about what I like. <laughs> so this is the schooner bar. It's a Royal Caribbean staple. It's been on every ship since the beginning of time. You have gold and brown and dark and moody, but also, again, brought into the light with this promenade. So kind of a twist on an old favorite. She's a good place to hang out. Looks like they've got NFL trivia right now. That's pretty cool. Now again, we do want to get around there. That's one of our favorite spots on the ship ever, but we're gonna go to the very rear of the ship right now to Surfside. This is all new, you guys. Never before has seen on a ship. It's wild out here. Just off the promenade by Surfside, you have Adventure Ocean. Parents, this is where you're gonna bring your kids. It's always been tucked in the back of a ship somewhere. This is the first time that it's in a central location and our friends with kids are loving it. I mean, come on, look at this space though. This is amazing. So the Surfside neighborhood is one of the eight neighborhoods on the ships and this one is pretty much completely dedicated to the kids. So you have Adventure Ocean here for daycare and, and sitting and things like that. or what? Meeting friends, they do activities here. They'll take your kids and you can go have your moments but they are keeping the kids entertained and happy and doing crafts and playing games. And I'm pretty sure they set up a play and they produce it at the end of the week. Really? Oh my goodness. Wait, you're not lying. How did you know that? Because I have friends with kids and I listen to what they're <laughs> There's a rehearsal in progress right now. That's awesome. So they're open a large part of the day, whether you want to drop them off for an afternoon or just for dinner so you can have your own private time or anything like that. Staff are great. All the kids that we've talked to have had a lot of fun with it. Obviously, we don't have kids, so we can't give you a full review, but um, definitely seems like a great thing for parents. Okay, let's keep going with the tour. That was, wild. <laughs> that was pretty good. Are all these just... The, this ship is insane. I, I would spend time in here. I saw kids in there. I didn't want to record the children, but I saw kids in there raging on Xbox. I want to go rage on Xbox with them. And this is where it gets insane. We start off strong with our friend, the Flamingo. I think she's so cute. <laughs> a flamingo standing next to a pool float with, does she have, oh, she, it's like a, a necktie. I thought it was flippers. Oh my goodness. So welcome to Surfside. For those of you that have been on the Oasis class ships, this has taken over the boardwalk. And I gotta be honest, as a selfish person with no kids, it makes me sad to see the boardwalk go, but I do think it's really, really cool this for the families. I think this was needed. Also, if you want me to be really, really honest, I feel like I haven't seen as many kids in other parts of the ship because they're all they contained all here. here. This is the ultimate kids playground. So like, you know, it gives them a really cool space for families and things and that could be in our future here soon, who knows. But at the same time, if it kind of opens up the rest of the ship, then it's great for us too. So this is the arcade, holy cow. Oh my gosh, this is just insanity. <laughs> okay, I gotta go outside. Look at the colorful stairs, the slide, the Tetris blocks on the walls, the floor, the giant surfboard. Like, this is just absolute paradise for kids. The arcade is Surfside Tour. This is the So you don't even need to leave Surfside if you get hungry. If you get your lunch and your snacks and everything right here. Oh my god. Goodness, look 
at all this food. There's a vegan meatloaf? How does that work? That's cool. I mean, that's cool. Wow. Herb crusted salmon. My chicken pirate daggers. This looks absolutely incredible. Of course, a bunch of sweets. You've got your Coke machine and tons of seating both inside and outside. No serve yourself ranch. I think kids I don't, with unlimited ranch <laughs> I don't think I've seen it anywhere else in the ship. That might be a pro tip. That might be a hidden Easter egg of Icon of the Seas. We'll Torrentos is your ranch hookup. We'll keep you guys updated, but thus far, it's only there. Of course, you can't have a Royal Caribbean ship without a carousel, and this is a really good one. I've heard nothing but good reviews from people on this one. Yes, and a couple of them, like the flamingos, are a really long, wide seat. So kids are so nice put their legs up there instead, which right. is such a thoughtful little thing. I never would have So like of that. babies can ride it because they're not straddling anything exactly. and it's kind of a, a cool thing. I love the vibe too. VW buses and flamingos and all kinds of stuff. Next to the carousel is Sugar Beach and I am so sorry to inform that it has been closed for our entire cruise so far and she's open. It's probably a really bad idea for me to go in here. This place is incredible. Literally any candy in the rainbow that you can think of, they've got it. Giant gummy bears, gummy worms, even Pez. Can't remember the last time I saw that. Definitely gonna need to be in the gym if we're gonna spend any time in here. We have ice cream across the way. <laughs> so there's a sprinkles down here and a sprinkles up on the pool deck. Sprinkles, another one of those Royal Caribbean. Sprinkles everywhere forever. All time favorites. The one upstairs is really cool too. Look forward to seeing that one. Cool play area for the little ones. The music is something. <laughs> the, the, I mean, <laughs> the preschool teacher and me is like, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I was really, so the Surfside balconies are really really cool the family balconies yes. they are super spacious the kids get their own little room and things like that it's a very cool room I considered booking it at some point because it's considered a sweet class so you get sweet amenities after being here I don't think I could do that no. with the music and the screaming children but if you're a family with a screaming child they're gonna love it we took Trevor's best friend who's a toddler to Disney and he sang the ABCs for two hours and I thought Trevor was gonna It's different when you're, it's your own though, or like kind of your own. We actually really want to bring him on this trip and we, I mean we would like, you know, with his parents and stay in one of those suites and like get his reaction to just how big and crazy everything is because he loves the ships, he loves watching our videos, we love talking to him about it, he's three years old but he yeah. like, he could point out every part of a ship to you so we, uh, hopefully we can make that happen one day. Enough rambling, we've got Surfside Bites here. This is a hidden gem. This is something I will come down here for. Those cinnamon sugar churros are one thing my, I will steal My children. goodness. I, I will like hip check a child out of the way if I have to. Surfside Bites has so many good things. We got popcorn chicken, hot dogs, cheeseburgers, pizza toasties and french fries, and these are why you come here the churros. I don't think we've had the confetti cookie or the fruit skewer yet. I mean, that's just a fruit skewer, but yeah, churros are the way to go. Look at those things. Oh, so just sweet. little sugary morsels. Honey mustard, but no ranch. Oh. The, the ranch is MIA. We're adding condiments though. What do you think's next? Horse, horseradish. I'm gonna guess horseradish. That would be a weird one. I would guess barbecue. Oh, you won. The lemon post is honestly, even though I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, one of my favorite new concepts and spaces on I'm the ship. Obsessed with the decor. Look at first of all the way this looks. You've got a lemon. Look, this is a lemon tree. Look how the, it's it forms a tree. And the pink seating. Right. Oh, this is such a vibe. But. Let's go grab a menu. This is what is really cool about this. Here's your alcoholic beverages. These are for mom and dad. But it's not fun when all you can have is soda or lemonade. So for the kids, they have their own mocktails. And it's like specialty cocoa berry lemonade, tropic blast lemon. Like to come up here and get something that's not a soda or a yeah. water or an apple juice. And you can like it's feel so like a cool kid with mom and dad sitting up here at the bar. Meanwhile, the parents are actually having a good time. Wait, this is blue raspberry syrup, syrup, Swedish fish, and lemonade. Oh, I actually really want to try. Can I, can I get that and then have them add like a shot of vodka? I'm sure you could add. We've also got a really cool kids play area back here, complete with a water bucket that fills and drops. You've got slides, you've got sprinklers, you've got a little wading and kind of swimming pool. I, I was gonna say that. 
that it was cool? It, I think this is some of the best real estate on the ship. Like think if this was an adult's pool or an adult's lounge area or, or anything. Like this is where the aqua theaters normally are, which is lovely. Yeah. Again, I'm so glad the kids have a space, but I'm a little bit jealous. But also think about it. If you had kids, this is a cool this place is a to, cool hang out. to hang out. And have There's like seating cool. and stuff over there. So I, I understand it. Basically what I'm saying is, Chelsea, we need to have babies so I can really take this space in. Because right now, but I think we, it's cool. The we is me, because us girls were talking about this last night, and all you guys want babies, so how about you give birth to one? Oh, wait. That, yeah, that sounds a little aggressive. <laughs> Definitely an incredible spot, though, being this close to the wake of the ship and just looking out over the great abyss beyond, so. It's a really cool spot. The kids definitely got hooked up. The adults do have the hideaway up there, which we'll get to eventually. Also, this is the ultimate family townhouse, and we're gonna have a tour of that coming soon. It is an absolutely ridiculous room. I've been teasing you, but I'm about to get weird about these chairs. What? Look at this. Is that a towel clip? A towel clip on <laughs> every single one. <laughs> the seating on this ship is whoever like look look at these look at this are you kidding look at these the little fiber chairs here whoever made the seats and made these decisions please i want to shake your hand because you did such a phenomenal job did. look at the bar stools like everything is so cool i'm obsessed with this bar i want to go home and make my whole office these colors ah uh, okay i don't know if that would be relaxing but i love it look at the lemon lamps so cute. Okay, moving on from the lemon post. The final space down here, and something that will probably draw you to Surfside, even if you don't have kids, is Pier 7. So, this is an all day brunch restaurant. Benedict's, Eggs Your Way, Buttermilk Pancakes. You've got burgers and things. So, like brunch food, it's supposed to be a really, really good spot. We have not had it yet, but I mean, look at this. You're looking over the ocean, so. I'm sure it's it's pretty I solid. Read the menu, yeah. I want to go there. I mean, look at this—a whipped ricotta and tomato crostini. That's exactly what I was Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's such like an elevated dish. What is that doing down here? I love it though. We're gonna have to have a little brunch day. I think it's very coastal, like California themed too. Pier Seven, so kind of a, a West Coast, just very cool vibe here. So, Surfside, absolutely spectacular. The theming is out of this world. I definitely do miss the boardwalk. I miss having playmakers out here, but it's cool for the kids and the families. Yeah. Now, I apologize for the steel drums. Hopefully, you guys can hear us fine. But this right here is genius. This is another one of those quality of life things. Like, this ship was thought out so well. Yeah. Typically, on Oasis class, this is where boardwalk ends, and you go into the promenade. There's one walkway, one doorway, a, a double door, but that's it. Yeah. Here... You can go back down to deck six for the top of the Royal Promenade. You can go straight through to deck seven, which is mainly staterooms and stuff, and we'll get to that. Or you can go up to Central Park. Now, we're not going to go up here because we need to go back to the other side of the promenade. So we're going to go back down to six. We're going to show you playmakers down there, and then we're going to show you another secret, really well thought out thing. Yeah. There are just so many little like walkways like this that improve flow and you don't have as many bottlenecks and it's just like, honestly, it's really, really well thought out. So back down on deck six here. This is kind of an elevated merch spot. This is called Sixth and Main. And it's all Royal Caribbean merchandise, but it's a little more subtle. And I would say like adult and elevated. If you're not into the bright colors, but you still want something from your vacation, right. this is your spot. There's some really cool stuff. I mean, take, take a look at this. Look at this leather and nylon back like that is sick that is so nice look look at these sweatshirts with like the embossed logo on there oh gosh i know i know you got some of these we got these as gifts a little what is this a beer set or is that is that whiskey glasses oh oh did you get those did you get those what Okay, well, we're coming back. That's unfortunate. I thought that was all the damage we were doing last night. This is Playmakers. It is NFL playoff season, and it has been popping. We were in here to like 
12.30 last night. It was a blast. That's why if you notice our voices are a little iffy, it's because we're watching the game and screaming. This is a really nice Playmakers, though. I'm sure this is going to be so loud and there's so many people in here, but you've got the bar in the center. You've got tons of seating around the sides. You've got foosball. You've got a couple pool tables. You've got air hockey. You've got shuffleboard, which we were raging on. Whoa! Okay, that is really sick. What is this from? Austin. That's from Austin. No way. We were at this. That's so cool. I didn't know. I think there was something parked like a an ACV last night. Oh, there was. So I missed it. But yeah, look at this. I mean, I just I love playmakers so much. Wings, burgers, fried buffalo roll things, beer. Like it. It is. This is such a vibe. This is probably my favorite restaurant and event space on the ship. This is just such a vibe. There is an owner's box, which you can reserve. So if you have a small group of friends and you want to have a space away, I will say we waited for about an hour and a half for a table last night. We got in at, at 10. We didn't get one till 11.30, but it's not the end of the world. It's NFL playoffs, of course. There's going to be a lot of people here, right? On the back side of Playmakers, we have absolute zero. By the way, how insane is this entrance? This space is absolutely incredible. The show is incredible. You have to see it ideally sitting in the center. You do kind of have to watch out for these poles. They will block your view, but uh, wow. Circular opens up possibilities for them. It's Royal Caribbean's first circular ice rink. Very, very cool. Back into the promenade. So we were on deck six. We went up to deck seven for Surfside. We then showed you Playmakers back on deck six and we're out here on deck six again. The second half of the upstairs of Promenade, we have Boleros, yeah. the Latin bar, oh, live music, the salsa. The it is so nice. Again, every single one of these venues on other ships is darker just because they're not as open to the Promenade and the Promenade isn't as light. Right. And so this has been opened up so much. The bright green, the plants on the, the chairs and things. It's just such a vibe. All the like accent lighting you see everywhere, I feel like I haven't noticed that on other ships. Like yeah, everything is, really well is so well vibed. So if you want to do some salsa, if you want to drink some mojitos and have a good, a good time. Plants, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Ceiling when you're on the dance floor, but if you did, you'd see something. Right? That's pretty cool. So, we're going to keep going back behind the pearl again. And this, I'm going to say it's there are two spots on this ship that are my favorite. And this is one of them. I think this, this is, is number two, this but this is, is one of them. Favorite art installation on the whole ship. Yes, for sure. So, welcome to the Pearl Cafe. And look at the whale. It's my absolute favorite thing. I, everybody that I've seen, I've been like, have you seen the whale? Oh, you have it? Come with me and I'll show come, you the whale. Come see the whale. All right, let's go over to the window so we can see everything. I mean, come on. Look at this wall of windows. This is an incredible spot. So the Pearl Cafe has coffee. It has like small bites and things like that. It has a very beautiful piece of art. But let us show you one of the coolest, most thoughtful, just insane things that they have done. I, I just, the little things, the little details are what really make this ship special is what we're starting to notice. You love this so much. And the fact that you can walk from the promenade directly to Central Park is incredible. So this staircase next to the Pearl goes straight up to Central Park. That's never been done before. Like Surfside, you could go down to six, stay on seven or go up to eight. Here, you've got options. You can walk to either side of six you want, or hey, you wanna go straight up to eight to Central Park? They got you. Quick shortcut, and you are here. Oh my goodness, Central Park. Now guys, remember earlier we were talking about the orchids? Central Park is where they come into play. They are everywhere, and they're real. Look at these guys, and you have to think, so this ship, was just completed a couple months ago. It sailed across. Obviously, they were continuously working on it and they will continue to work on it. So the plants right now are young. Yeah. They aren't fully grown. You can see like these over here that are climbing up the trellis of, I think this is Park Cafe. They're gonna keep going. So over time, this space is gonna ebb and flow. It's gonna get more lush. It's gonna get more dense. 
Oh, what? This is so pretty. Incredible. Maybe I'm just weird, but I am hooked on the orchid. <laughs> so we're gonna walk towards the aft here. We know that Surfside takes up like deck seven through fifteen or something like that. So there's not gonna be anything past this. We're gonna start here. We're gonna work our way towards the front of the ship. Lots of very upscale shopping and really shiny things we can look at through the window. It's really fun. But we're not gonna go inside because we don't wanna spend any more money. Just such a vibe. Central Park is the best neighborhood. So Shout out all my Central Park stands. This is the place to be. This is a brand new space, Lou's Jazz and Blues. Yep. Very, very cool. It looks like they have a function going on in there or it's just closed or something, but this is such a special space because of the windows. So at night, they'll have music playing, whatever vibe they have happening here, and these doors slide all the way open. So this entire venue can become indoor outdoor. And it's just playing jazz and blues throughout Central Park. So even if you're not sitting here or at the bar or wherever else, you you're walking by enjoying it. You're sitting on a park bench or a table or wherever else. If you're me, you're right over there at Bubbles, which oh. is also now getting champagne and enjoying the jazz, because that's my jam. We should <clears throat> we should go check check out Bubbles. <clears throat> we could go check it out. <clears throat> oh my gosh, your throat. There's always something wrong with you today. Oh, you finally caught on. You're ill. <laughs> also, I know we kind of skipped over Regalia. I was joking. Really great shopping on this ship, if yeah. that's your kind of thing. I mean, they've got Omega, Hublot, Cartier, all kinds of stuff in here. They're beckoning you inside. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> Maybe after a couple glasses of champagne and Bubbles, and we'll see where this goes. That That is really strategic placement, Royal Caribbean. I applaud the business decision here. So Bubbles is a champagne bar in Central Park where you can get champagne by the glass or by the bottle. I think I need to try this garden green. It is fantastic. There's a souvenir goblet you can get for 17 bucks. They're up there on the top row. That is so cool. Oh, it's not? Oh, it's not? <laughs> what is it? I like that one. Do you have any? Can we see it? No? Nothing on board. That's why you're not doing the... Oh, okay. So it's a secret. Yeah, they say it's gonna be like a fancy big one with a written icon, rock ideas. Really? This is small. Yes. Okay. We those from President's so, so it's even bigger and better than that. Yeah, than wow. So we're, we're going to have to come back and get one. We'll be able to get one. Yeah, we're going to be in the for Revenue Plus. Revenue, oh, the first one. And then we're going to get it. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to come back. In the meantime, which one's your favorite? Okay. I'll, I'll do Kava. Two? Two, please. Yes, please. What a concept. Just a quick service champagne window. How Love nice it. is this? Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, my love. First drink of the day. I'm proud of us. This is just such a vibe, though. The, the little turquoise, like, fancy little window that serves you champagne. And you can get some really nice bottles. You can get Dom in there. Yeah. Like, old, old school Dom. So, we're going to enjoy our, not bottom of the barrel, but not Dom Perignon. And... Keep on moving. Park Cafe, of course, a Central Park staple. You can't go without Park Cafe. Also, can we take a look at this view right here? Look at how colorful this ship is. So beautiful. It is unbelievable. And this is another one of those 3D art pieces we were talking about. That's up on the pool deck. We'll get to that soon. Looks like it's getting a little dark outside, but let's go check out Park Cafe. The plants, the pink, the turquoise, the wood, such a vibe. So Park Cafe is all about quick grab and go. So you've got soup of the day, you've got quick grab bites, you've got sandwiches and paninis. We really love our Park Cafe sandwiches. I don't know what that is, but I bet it's delicious. <laughs> But think like really quick, easy to eat, healthy vibes. You come in here, if you need a quick snack, if you skipped breakfast, if you need a light lunch, something like that, this is a great spot to do it. Also, the theming is immaculate. Again, look at this and look at how it all opens up to the park. So nice. Wow. Look like you're doing all right. A couple of glasses of champagne. Wait, it's a little windy and a little chilly. I've got two glasses of champagne and I'm holding my pass to the new cabanas for tomorrow. Oh, we've, we've got a perfect day at Coco K Vlog coming tomorrow that you guys don't want to miss. Now, this is a really cool spot. If you come on Icon of the Seas, you have to come hang out here. There are three chairs with little tables. This is the only Central Park in the fleet that you can see the ocean from. Those promenade windows, we keep talking about them. They are just so cool. You can look out at the ocean while enjoying your music 
from Lou's behind you. Also, we have another, well, is this a telescope or binocular? What do you call these, the freestanding ones? Um, I've been trying to think of the word. Binoculars, I don't know if they have a special name because they're freestanding, but they when we, like binoculars. When we were in Miami yesterday, we were looking at people on yacht parties in the Bay of Miami. But here you can kind of, you can kind of, it's really hard to do with a camera, but you can kind of see that we're looking at the ocean there. So you do have a pair of binoculars to look at the fish or something. If you see a fish through those, you're really impressive. <laughs> I just love these guys. Is this an orchid? Yeah. They can grow in the trees and stuff. It's just hanging out. I, where do the root, how do the roots, how does it grow without roots? They get like misted and stuff. I don't, oh. I don't know. Oh. I know they're cool. That is just so weird and so cool. Also, you can see the pearl here too. Of course, this will glow different colors at night. So honestly, it's very, very cool. It's kind of like an alien spaceship or something landed very here cool. and it's taking over Central Park, but it adds just that extra vibe. So you've got the neon happening. You've got the moody darkness of all the plants and the noises and things. And then you've got the jazz playing. This place completely transforms at night. That brings us back here to our shortcut down to the promenade. And this third quarter of Central Park might be my favorite. We have the trellis bar, which has an upgrade. We're gonna go check that out in a second. We've got a Zumi, which has a to-go sushi window. And then we've got Chops, which is the steakhouse, one of our all-time favorites. So the cool thing about Trellis Bar is this is one of our favorite spots to come get a crafted cocktail. We love to have an espresso martini before dinner. The wind is, is doing a number, sorry. But they have made a change here on Icon and they have a bites menu. So you can get Caesar salad, beef tartare, mac and cheese poppers, steak bites, a dry aged burger, so now not only can we come get our favorite drinks here, but we can But you can have, have a too. snack. I love that so much. The cruise that we're currently on is not serving it, but the first like revenue, first public sailing will have it. You guys know we'll bring you along. I cannot that. wait to check that out. Those mac and cheese poppers, I'm doing a number. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Truffle fries, come on. Oh, trellis, always been a fave. Just got better. Elevated. Chops, one of our absolute favorites, and she's been elevated too. The menu is largely the same, the food is just as good. Like, it hasn't changed a lot on that end, but I mean, look at this space. Look at how bright it is. Everything on this ship is brighter and more beautiful. Look at the meat window. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about looking at raw meat that makes you hungry, but I'm it's effective. Turned on a little bit. I'm not just hungry. <laughs> but seriously, look at this. Steakhouse vibes. Still very rough and tough and leather and oak and wood, but it's just a little brighter. You can see into the kitchen, which is kind of cool. Very nice vibes in here. And then there's Izumi. So it's the hibachi and the sushi that you're used to but they've switched it up with a window outside. So the Izumi window, it's Izumi in the park is the official name. And you can get grab and go sushi here anytime you want. You can watch them make sushi through this window and then you can pick up said sushi or order it and pick it up from over here. How you doing? Thank you. Oh, it's so nice. This is actually our first dinner on the ship. It was so good. I, I don't want to overhype it, but it was the best Izumi I've had. It could be because it's early on Icon and they pull out all the stops, but it was fantastic and highly recommend. Now the last thing on deck A at forward, you open the door because I want you to get in trouble if we're not supposed to be in there. Just, just give it a pull. <laughs> okay, so that is Empire Supper Club. We are doing it. It is a, it's like a seven, eight something course like that. It's every multi course. Every course comes with a cocktail. A cocktail, not it's, a wine. It here. starts. It starts with sh two glasses of champagne. I've heard. We are going to be doing it with Michael and Abby. You will see it on the channel here soon. You We're going to have a video pretty much Michael dedicated to it. It. I'm. You're, I'm going to need help getting out. I'm not carrying you. Can you imagine like eight, nine, no, ten can't. drinks? in one night for one dinner. I can't. And we talked to our friend Kara and she said that it was multi-course because you never know how many courses you're gonna get. Ooh. We'll just check, have a look if you want. Okay. So this is like a super private dining experience. 
Wow. Babe, there's like 10 tables in there. Oh my, That's I can't super, wait. Super cool. That is the coolest date night in the world. Live music, it looks like. Like what in the world? We're going to have to get suited up, dressed to the nines. It's going to be excited. great. Up to nine. Okay, so decks nine through 14 are mainly state rooms. We do have the spa and the overlook bar, which we're gonna be checking out on deck 14, but we figured we could give you guys a quick little state room tour. To be fair, this is a lived in state room. We're all unpacked and everything, so it's not perfect. We have all the equipment from today, but you guys saw the pristine state room tour in our boarding day video. Honestly, really nice. One thing to point out, big change for Royal Caribbean. No more tube showers. We now have full length showers with a bench. Apparently that's a really big deal for the girls. We're not special. That's a really big deal for the girls. I don't, I mean, shave your legs, do your thing. All right, so cool baskets and stuff. Secret hidden thing behind the mirror. All very cool. You guys have seen this. More plugs on this ship than any other ship. USB normal, is it A or B? I'm not sure. USB-C and actual outlets. Everything you need to work, sorry. It's been chaos today. We do have some bad news though. So as we mentioned, the weather hasn't been bad, but it hasn't been perfect. It's been a bit windy, it's been a bit overcast. It kinda got to be a little bit stormy and we were waiting for it to clear up and all of a sudden the sun didn't come back out and it's getting to be dusk, so. So we'll have to do that tomorrow. We'll go upstairs and show you all the outdoor things, don't worry. Basically we could have rushed it today and we could have gotten it done, but that pool deck is so bright, it's so colorful, it's so beautiful. We wanted to make sure we had actual sunshine to be able to show it to you so yeah. if we have to wait till tomorrow or beyond we want to make sure you see it when it looks its best the way so. it's meant to be seen absolutely so we will see you guys there for the second it's honestly probably gonna be the second it, half of the video because it's honey, such a big part of the ship it's a lot longer for us than it is for them we'll see them in yeah. two seconds <laughs> so next 14 through 20 coming soon You had like six whole pieces of fruit yeah. just juiced into that. Oh my goodness, just an insane jump start to your day. Thank you so much. Just a nutrient blast to start your morning. It's so yummy. Thank you so much. Yes. Even a nice little seating area here. Fruit juices, protein snakes, the granola bars are incredible. So if you want like a small bite to start your day, this is a good spot. Or our friend Lindsay has been bringing people every day to take a ginger shot and she doesn't warn them. So she just starts their day off in the worst way possible. So this is the Vitality Spa. If you're feeling a little stressed, you're feeling a little sore, they got all kinds of massages, singles, couples, pretty much anything you want. We like the hot stone massage. Oof. Here on day one of this cruise, it's 40% off too, so I'm very, very tempted. But uh, we've also got a dry bar for the girls. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is something. You need to get your nails done? Didn't you break a nail on the way here? Is it still broken? But I was just thinking I really need to wash my hair because I haven't washed my hair in four days, but maybe I just let somebody else do it. They have a whole salon here. This is outrageous. Very cool. Yeah, they have all sorts of like skin analysis and uh, very health focused. If you're if you're looking to have a little health retreat on the ship, this is your place. We're gonna see if we can get you guys a preview of the thermal suite. If you have a treatment scheduled, you're gonna be going down to deck 13 into one of those wonderful little rooms where you are whisked away to heaven until they ring that little bell and you're done and it's really, really sad. And then over here, we have the thermal suite. Yeah. This is one of our biggest pro tips we can give you. It is so worth it. I think pricing can vary, but we just asked, and on this cruise, it's 50 bucks per day. Unlimited access, you can come as many times as you want. Oh, we've got little, I don't even know what that is. A tangerine. So, it's a, you can polish and cleanse, relax and purify, or heal and hydrate, or you can make your own. So you pick your smell and you pick what you want to be like the, like this is gonna be the herbs for the healing and hydrating. This looks like nuts, or maybe cream. So I can make myself like a, a trail mix. Okay. It's good for your skin. Okay, let's go in the therm. Let's let's see what we're actually looking for here. Oh, the heated beds, so nice. 
this is going to be like a tropical rainforest shower. It's going to have noises and you're probably going to go switch from hot to cold and things like that. So you have access to the shower. Definitely the most chairs I've seen in a thermal suite on Royal Caribbean. If you guys know how many naps I have had in these <laughs> chairs over the years. It's so funny too because these are like tile. They're hard. It's they're not heated. it's not comfortable, but it's very comfortable. No, I would this room like if this room is 70 degrees i'd say these are like 80 85 degrees. at least They're just warm enough they feel amazing oh it feels so good now looks like over here we haven't been in here yet i think we're definitely going to be coming back we have a steam room this is huge lots of room for activities in here lots of people this is there's always been a lot of seating but normally they're more narrow so if there's more than like six people you feel a little close but this is Massive. You guys push ups in there? <laughs> yeah. Diego and I have a rule. You got to hit 50 before you get out of the, the steam room every time. I only have to do 50. We, we end up doing a lot of push ups. In oh, here, this is your hammam. Oh, wow. I, I don't, maybe you guys, if you haven't been in a thermal suite, you might be thinking we're reacting for the video, but this is the largest I have ever seen on a ship. What do you do in a hammam? <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a hammam in a room. I'm really excited to try it out though. Hey Siri, what do you do in a hammam? It's a Turkish bath that involves cleansing rituals across a variety of rooms, saunas, steam room. Okay, we're gonna have to ask the staff or something, but we're definitely gonna be checking that out. And this, oh, the sauna. Traditional sauna, and again, it is massive. Oh, it smells so good. Babe. With the wood. Oh, I can't wait to sweat out every demon I've ever. I can sit over here. I'm so far away from you. I don't even have to talk to you. <laughs> right? The best. <laughs> you can just bring your Kindle and pretend like I don't exist. Love you. Bye. Second shower over here. And it looks wow. like that's the end. So, sauna, steam room, hammam, heated beds and rainforest showers. Flat fee, you can use it as many times as you want. You could come in the morning, you could come at night, you could come during lunchtime, doesn't matter. You can come multiple times a day. Honestly, thermal spas, I was recently introduced to them. We just went on one in Norway and President's Cruise before that, That's love what I was it. gonna say. I think they're great all the time, but they're especially great on a cold weather cruise. Yeah, but it's not cold outside, we're still getting it this time without a doubt. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to spend a decent amount of time in that I'm thermal suite. Spend a lot of time in there. Every morning, wake up, gym, and then a little sauna sesh. I'm down. All right. We are gonna be going all the way across to the other side of deck 14. It's not really that big of a thing, but I think it's pretty cool. Over here again, we have the wall of windows to bring in natural light. I can see Jess and Rod down there filming. <laughs> See Jess. Hi Jess. <laughs> Jess you're not working. Little behind the scenes action with creators here. Rod's got the kids. Santi and Nora, you guys have met them many, many times. Taking a nice photo with the flamingo. Now the thing we wanted to show you up here is in the elevator shaft for 14 Four aft, we have the ship model of Icon of the Seas. So massive. <laughs> I kind of want to see if they'll let us have this and then we could put it in our living room. So wild. So we just ran into our friend Mark and we were telling him that the last couple days, on average, we were walking like six to eight miles. Now granted, it's because we always do the stairs, but that's how big the ship is. Look at the size they even have all the of colors. this thing, right? Look You've got the, the Pearl, Pearl Cafe down here. This is Crown's Edge. You can see like the whole rigging system that you're hooked up to and where you walk out on. You've got the basketball court. This is kind of giving you guys a preview of what you're going to be seeing next in this video. This is so huge. I want to put it in the living room. Or maybe in the pool. Does it float? This is where we're going next. The Aquadome. Deck 15 forward. It's insane. Yeah. So the Aqua Dome is without a doubt one of the most impressive spaces on this ship. I literally can't get over it. Every time I step in here, it like feels like the first time. Would you say it's 
an Isn't iconic location? Cool? It's here. very iconic. Now, we do have uh, the naming ceremony rehearsals going on right now, so we're going to have to kind of work around that. Normally, there'd be a lot of people in here. Yes, but we are going to the naming ceremony tonight, so stay tuned because we're going to show you guys that as well. The Royal Bling Store, they have Royal Caribbean jewelry. It I'm is to have my turn in here, baby. insane. Look at all of these crown and anchor pendants and necklaces and earrings and all kinds of stuff like that. There's even a royal chalice. That chalice right there is $100,000 and it comes with the free drink package for, for life. life. Aquadome Market is next to that. We're gonna get to that after we're in here. Yeah. You've got hooked seafood. You can see more of the magic of this ship here in the Aquadome with all the windows. Wait till you see the next room though. This is your main theater area. The production is incredible. Now the show is not quite done yet. Right but we do have preview footage that we can show and we're gonna have that in the vlog yeah, later. All the way up in the ceiling, there is a water curtain that falls down <laughs> and it is the coolest thing I have ever seen. A full 360 degrees of and water. The people are up at the top and they're diving through it. It it's is wild. Unbelievable, this is truly such an incredible space. I mean, it's just incredible, but it gets even better. You've got the show space here but in front of the show space, you've got a hangout spot and you have like 270 degrees, maybe more. I think it might be more. So this space is called the Overlook and there's all these really cool pods. There's even some that are up on like a second story. We're definitely going up there. They're super private. They have all the plugins. And you have nice. plugs. So if you want to charge your phone, read a book, use your work laptop, anything you want, you can come here and hang out. We've seen people napping here. Napping, like it, it's a cocktail and a snack, working, all the all the things you might need them for and then some they're so cool. Now these are no charge, it's just kind of used throughout the day, first come, first serve. Honestly, anytime we've come here there's been one open. I thought there was gonna be more demand for them. I thought you were gonna Who knows? Them, but people seem to be really respectful of the space and the time and come and go. So that's right. really nice. So we've got one down on the ground here, one here. I mean look at this. Just unobstructed views of the water. If we go upstairs to a two story one. I mean, this is just such... I didn't realize there was somebody up top there, so I was gonna show it to you. But yeah, just imagine you have your own little second story overlook, literally and figuratively. And wow, this is unbelievable. We've got more little binocular things. I so you can find someone working in port, but it looks like nobody's really working. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that the Aquadome is like inside or that the, the, the like, performance space is inside of this. So you've got kind of like a two layer, really cool triangle thing going on here. You've got the overlook bar and you've got a ton more seating down here. And you guys really ready to have your minds blown? This entire glass structure with all these individual pieces, they craned on. That's one piece. That's one piece. Just dropped this entire thing in. This Insane. is truly an engineering marvel met people more proud of what they do than the team that got this attached to the ship. Yeah. Also, if you're noticing that our voices are cracking a little bit, honestly, we've just been having a really good time and filming a lot on Icon, so our voices are feeling a little bit weak, but hopefully yeah. it doesn't sound too bad. What a vibe. We've told you guys about how much we like the seating. It continues in here. Look at this. You've got day beds. You've got other different types of day beds. You've got these chairs. You've got the big shell chairs. Which one do you want at home? That one? Yeah, that'd be great. So many plants in here. The music is always vibey. This is truly one of the best places to hang out on the ship. It's funny because it's the home to probably the most high adrenaline show on the ship, but the rest of the time, it's super like low-key, relaxing, vibey. It's really quite opposite. And honestly, I mean, it looks so good here in the daytime. It's arguably even better at night. Ooh, she's lit up. Ugh, this is probably our favorite space. I'm getting Avatar vibes. I am getting like Avatar the, vibes. Like the plant bar center thing the over there. Pods. All the plants, all these little bubble things, these are screens. It's an aquarium, so it's just, this is such a cool spot. Now, if we go upstairs, you saw there's an overlook bar right there. This is the Ryan Bean. They specialize in coffee cocktails. I really want to try, there's a guava hot toddy, and we were lucky enough to meet the gentleman who created the drink. He said it's one of the best things 
they've ever served. So I really want to try that. The espresso martini is fabulous. The regular coconut coffee, oh my God, it was so good. Just the, oh, the coconut cold brew. Yes, it's coconut cold brew and it has tons of foam on top, but it's the vegan foam and it has this really interesting, like light, airy, bubbly <laughs> texture. It, guys, it's just a coffee, but it's not just a coffee. If you talked about me, like the way you just talked about that coffee. It was so good. <laughs> Man, I'd be a lucky guy. And last but not least in this space is one of our favorite places to eat. We have been trending here like crazy. Welcome to the Aquadome Market. So normally when they're not doing rehearsals, you can just go in that side door, but there's also a main entrance from the elevators. So basically this is kind of a food hall concept. There are five different restaurants, quick service you can go up to. The food is always hot and super fresh and they've got five different cuisines. So no matter what you're in the mood for, it's just kind of a quick grab and go option. And it's more like lighter options. Paige and I have been really enjoying it because it's not heavy food, but it's super flavorful. This is probably in my top three new additions to the fleet is Aquino Market. Creme de la Crepe. Guys, I have to tell you something about this place. Since the day that we got on, Diego has been here at least three times a day. Probably more, but three <laughs> times that I know of a day getting a crepe. For crepes. Oh my gosh, they're so good. If you want sweet, if you want salty, if you want a mix, they have a lot of great options. Delicious. That's all you need, Nutella and maybe a fruit. Ginger is Asian bowls. Max is mac and cheese like you've never seen it before. They have a pizza, a pepperoni pizza mac and cheese. I do need to try that, I haven't tried mac yet. It is unbelievable. Classic mac, bacon mac, chili mac, broccoli mac, and at the top there, pepperoni. Mm. Pizza Mac. Oh my goodness. This is a dangerous one. We we need to eat it but be careful because I could I could do some damage. Do I want some? Sure. Oh, what are my topping options? I'll do some breadcrumbs. Chili mac with breadcrumbs. Wow. Thank you so much. My mouth is already watering. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Shall we try it? Go for it. There's so much cheese. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's yeah. good. Feta Mediterranean for Greek bowls. This, this is my favorite one here. We've eaten this so many times. Just think like rice, meat. It's unbelievable. So, so good. Toast and Garden is more traditional sandwiches. They do have a Monte Cristo, which is well worth checking out. Yeah. And of course, at the end, you have a bar. You've also got seating on each side and even bench seating that looks out at the water. Well, it will be water in a couple hours. In a couple hours. But uh, yeah, so basically kind of like a little food hall, food court, whatever you want to call it. For us, it's kind of been almost like a windjammer replacement. When we don't want to go to the windjammer or we want something like we have a specific craving, we'll come here and it it's it's been good. It feels a little bit lighter than the windjammer mm -hmm. and also easier because it's served to you. Right. So you're not like... You're not walking around, you know, you can just come in, grab a bowl, eat and go. Yeah, I love it. I think... Mediterranean, Mediterranean is my favorite. The ginger Asian was really good. That might be my second. But I haven't tried the crepes yet, and I have a feeling they're gonna win. So I've been. I mean, that's not really. I don't want to be like Diego and keep coming back. <laughs> that's not really a fair comparison. That's We're caving. First crepe of the trip. We have to do it. Oh. Wow, the classic lemon zested dusted sugar salted caramel has sweet toffee and creamy vanilla bean the custard. Classic actually looks really good. But well, I can't pass up the Nutella, it's my favorite thing. This is gonna be amazing. Look at the steam coming off of that thing. Oh. From commitment to crepe in about 15 seconds flat. I was pressured. Thank, Thank you so much. We've had a lot of good crepes in our life. That's true. This Let's see how this stacks up. Strawberry inside, chocolate and powdered sugar on the top. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's so many strawberries in it, I might need an egg. This is so dangerous that you can just walk up here and get a crepe at pretty much any time you want. <laughs> All right. God, well, I love Nutella and strawberries. Oh yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Wow, you love oxygen and water too. It's almost like you need them to live. You're so unique. <laughs> this is so good. All right, we're gonna devour this and we'll see you guys out on the pool deck. This ship is so big, it took us three days, but we made it to July. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the pool decks. Now, I'm gonna be honest, the pool decks are so insane, it's honestly a little 
stressful to think about filming. So normally the pool deck is one deck on the very top of the ship. This has three decks for the main pools and then you have, so 15, 16, 17 are the main pools. Then you have 18 and 19 are the sweet sun deck and pools and then 20 is the water slide. So technically five decks of water activities here, which is unbelievable. So this is deck 15, deck 16's up there. There's deck 17. We're just gonna try to work through it. It's honestly like, it flows really well, but it's kind of a maze. It's not like one big open area like it is on other ships. You can't see everything the way you can. Like on the Oasis class, you look across, you can see it all. Bear with us guys, we're gonna show you everything, but if we're walking around like this, it's because we're trying to show you everything. It's kind of like we've talked about it before with all the nooks and crannies and, and cubbies and things that you can do. Like, uh, let's go see one right now. Tons of covered seating just outside of the Aqua Dome here. You also have four table tennis tables, which I think is the most I've ever seen. Yeah, look at that. So you can, and there's a window there so you can talk trash about your friends. Now all of the basic pool chairs are all really fun colors. We've been talking about seating this whole time. This is where it starts to get really crazy. Look at these this is a day bed that if you get this first come first serve it's yours no extra charge nothing like yeah. that look at these these little couches are everywhere you have like a i'm assuming this is like an ice bucket for champagne or something if you want it but you can like lounge out with your friends in a way that you've never been able to do before it's so nice oh my gosh the colors on this ship are just insane please do not run even for ice cream oh <laughs> Can you scream for ice cream? Because we all do it. That would be conducive to healing my voice, but I can. You scream ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. I, I think that went over your head. Also, you kind of have a booger. Great, love to share that with the vlog. Tons of whirlpools on this ship. Honestly, we are still discovering more of them. We were in a new one last night that we hadn't really seen before, so lots of hot tub opportunities. Again, with the seating here, look at this. Giant bench seating, these fun little chairs and things. There are just so many hangout places. There's even more nooks up there. Like, the, this is replicated up there on your little perch looking out over the water. Like, it's... This is just insane. Our first of many lime and coconuts is here. There are three stories of lime and coconuts on this ship, which is ridiculous. Usually there's one lime and coconut. I love the back wall in this one, the citrus. Yeah. See, this is where I don't know what to do. Should we just do like a circle? It's just so windy and there are so many little areas. Like I want to go this way, but I also want to go this way. Let's, let's, let, okay, let's go this way. Perfect. So this is where you're going to find sprinkles. This is what I was alluding to with the little Heidi cubby thing. No ice cream yet, soon, later on this afternoon. But yeah, you've got the sprinkles ice cream machines here. Soft serve, unlimited, much as you want, anytime you want. And look at this. You make me melt, Chels. Chairs are like rock material, they're so cool. Every time you look at me and I realize that I get to spend the rest of my life with you, I melt. I think you're talking about Cooper. I don't think you're talking about Yeah, it's, it's Coop. So, uh, yeah, this is such a fun little area. Look at all the pillows and the chairs and the colors and everything. Like, this ship is stocked full of little cubbies like this. Well, looking from one side or the other, you'd never know this is here. You have to have seven days on this thing because three or four is not enough. Look at the walls here. Oh, my goodness. She's just so beautiful and i love that it's kind of segmented you've got like smaller yeah. spaces not just one big open pool deck now over here again we've got more interesting seating look at these giant i'm gonna call them bird cages look at the bird cages they're pretty cool right we came out there we walked around that way came back this way now we're on the aquadome market side we've got a lot of outdoor seating and look at all of these like what is this who designed the seating on this ship? I need to know. We need to find out. Think about you and all your friends. Caribbean Ocean out there, hanging out in this spot right here. Bar is just a couple steps away. Music is playing. You've got food a couple steps the other direction. Like what else do you need in your life? This ship is, everything is so well thought out. Everything is so well placed. Everything is just a few steps away. How fun is this? Look at that, you've even got like the little ropes hanging down as dividers. This, it has no business being this well I think themed. one of the coolest things is with the separation, between the separation of the locations and the seating space, it's really nice because I've heard a lot of people say like, 
oh, on a cruise, you don't want to go up to the pool deck and everyone's running each other over, but there's so many individual spaces that that concern is completely eliminated here. Look at all the seating. We've got a lime and coconut here as well and a lime and coconut up there. You can see two lime and coconuts on two different decks. The natural progression now tells me to go that way, but we still have one half of the pool deck before we can even go upstairs. Right, so we're gonna stay on 15. We're gonna keep walking this way. I love these, by the way. They're like crinkled, half deflated pool floats. They're everywhere. More crazy seating. It's like a memory foam pad. I, <sighs> They have thought of everything. This pool deck is just so insane. Every angle is so colorful and different, but we've got a whirlpool here, a whirlpool here, and this is also a whirlpool that's shaped like a wine glass wine or something. Glass, yeah. We'll see that up on deck 16 or 17 or wherever that is. All right, let's keep going. Here we have the Royal Bay Pool. This is the largest pool at sea, 40,000 gallons. And look at, I mean, again, all the chairs. You've got chairs in the water so you can keep your toes nice and chilly. You've got chairs, uh, normal beach chairs. You've got the really comfy chairs over there. Like this, it's heaven. I, I don't know what else to say. There, there's nothing better than this. There's so many places to lay out and enjoy yourself. And of course, there are plenty of places to be up on deck 16 in the sun, but it looks like a lot of deck 15 is gonna have shade throughout the day so if you need a break if you don't want to just roast up there I know you like to roast with a book but some people don't like roasting you can come down here you got the fresh air you've got the music you've got the pool vibes but you're not in the sunshine more day beds and cool chairs also really cool stairs going up all the pools have names so instead of just saying like I'm on the pool deck and your party's trying to find you you can say I'm at this pool. Royal Bay the Cove pool the anything else yeah these stairs here lead to the promised land it is amazing and we will get there in a second but for now we're just gonna leave them up when we were asking the bartenders for um, directions the other day yeah. he was like yeah just go to the pretty stairs, the pretty stairs. so these are the pretty stairs across from the Royal Bay back at the spot where we couldn't decide if we wanted to go right or left we're now gonna go right this is the Cove pool very small, but... Look at the view, though. Right? I mean, you're right up against the glass. It's really cool. So far, we haven't seen it be too packed at any point. I almost feel like a lot of people gravitate towards the main pools and upstairs. So maybe this is a hidden gym. Maybe it's going to end up getting packed, but it's pretty cool for now. Take our secret spot, And then directly mirroring the Royal Bay pool, you have this. I know the pool are the draw but this might be my favorite outdoor space i do feel like like this this commands a lot of pool deck space it's kind of crazy i'm really surprised that they put these here but i honestly really really like them oh, for I laying out hanging out have you pushed the pillows yeah we've laid on these super comfy all right see you guys when you're done but i mean seriously like the, the seating why, why would they do this i'm not sure Am I glad they did it? Absolutely. How did they think of this idea? No idea, but this is so cool. So you've got these little trampoline day beds all over the place, more comfortable mats to lay out. There's like swings and stuff over there. This is like an adult's playground, I guess. I don't know, it's lovely. Such a cool design. Every corner of this ship is so colorful. Now talking about an adult's playground, we're about to come up on mine. One of my favorite spots to eat and drink, we have a Loco Fresh. Wide open out here in the middle of the and pool deck. Tell them what you're really excited about. What does El Loco Fresh have on this ship? What? A bar. So on the left here, you've got Cantina Fresca. The spicy jalapeno pineapple margarita is an absolute must if you like spice, but they don't be a baby because it's very spicy. Yeah, they took like fresh jalapeno and muddled it. It wasn't Ugh. like a flavored jalapeno thing, so she was hot. So delicious. And then over here on the right, of course, We've got a Loco Fresh, which is your just grab and go Mexican. You've got quesadillas, you've got burritos, you've got nachos, you've got build your own tacos, you've got stations with all the toppings and every hot sauce you could ever desire. I feel like this is underappreciated, the number of hot sauces they have. I don't know if everyone is quite as weird as we are, but the fact that they have Valentina is a chef's kiss. And Yucateco and Cholula. So depending on what your mood is, you got all sorts of options. Definitely not the fanciest food in the world, but if you're craving Mexican, it's, flavorful. it's just quick and it is good. Flavorful. Look at the beef that just came out. Wow. Tell me. 
You wouldn't like some beef nachos right now. I have to walk away or we're never going to get this done. And towards the rear of deck 15, above Surfside, we have... If you are this deep into a ship tour video and you don't know what the windjammer is, I don't know what you're doing. Look how cute the paper towel is. <laughs> All right, we got a washi washi, even though we're not eating. Hold me, hold me, hold me, darling. Hold me, hold me very tight. Washi, washi, everybody, all the time. One more time. Thank you, guys. You are amazing. Come here just for them. Oh, they've got an ice sculpture set up. Wow. <laughs> So it goes without saying, on the biggest, newest, nicest ship in the world, it, it's got the biggest, newest, nicest windjammer. Also look at what's in the background here. That's what we're getting to. We're almost there. I know you've all been waiting for it. elevated windjammer ever. Look at this. Is this a shark? A fish. It's a fish. Wow. Okay. That is so cool. Is that cheese or chocolate? <laughs> Are you upset with either? Either one's good, but it's on a cheese. But then I see fruit, so it could be chocolate. What are we talking about here? Look at it. It's cheese. This thing? That thing. That's a cheese wheel. That's octopus. And a, That's and a rose. Wow. <laughs> it's a sharp cheese. Where? Right there. Oh, oh, yeah, in the back. I thought we were actually talking about the cheese. No, I'm looking at the cheese it. I want to eat. Looking You're looking at the art. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, I mean, the Windjammer is incredible. The food is so good. They do themes every night. Of course, you've also got it for breakfast and lunch. It's always good. It's always fresh. You know what you're getting? Filet and the Windjammer. What world are we living in where we have filet and the Windjammer? Wow. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? So yeah, big, bright, open, tons of food, tons of stations, pretty much anything your heart could ever desire can be fulfilled in here. The windows on both sides make it a huge difference. Uh, the, uh, might as well have called it windows of the seas because it's she's yeah, all windows. Honestly. Floor to ceiling windows on the outside, of course, that's pretty traditional. But now you've also got floor to ceiling windows looking out over Surfside and looking at the Category 6 water park. Look at these seafood tower displays though. Look at this. <laughs> Filet and seafood towers. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. So cute, but you can't eat it. Sorry. I can't eat it, but She's I can appreciate how cute it is. Definitely allergic. There's got to be some. I, I mean, this is kind of like a day one specialty thing, I think. I don't think they're always going to have filet and lobsters out in the windjammer, but we have had very good success here so far. Look at the onion flower. Onion bouquet. Art, guys. Okay, I think it's time to get out of here. We could make a 40-minute windjammer tour with Chels. Maybe that's a future video idea. You let guys us know. Let us know if you want us to do one day where we try every single food served in the windjammer. I, I would explode. I know. I just want to see if we can make it. I think we're still discovering things about that pool deck, but hopefully we, we got you guys like 90% of it. If you I, find something we didn't <laughs> mention, let us know because it means we didn't find it. Now it's time for us to get bougie. We're going to be checking out some of the sweet, exclusive areas here on Icon of the Sea. Starting with deck 16 forward, we have Coastal Kitchen. This is like an elevated exclusive to sweet guests or pinnacle members, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The food is absolutely delicious. We've had the pleasure of having it a few times, but we haven't sailed in too many suites. So. And it's two floors. It's unbelievable. It's super beautiful and definitely a cool spot to hang out if you want to get away from, you know, the public peons. Oh, <laughs> it's a sweet. You're still part of everything else. Absolutely love on Oasis and now Icon Class that you can always look down on Central Park. It's just such yeah. a nice slice of fresh air in the middle of the pool deck. I love it. So we are up here on deck 16 forward. We are going to be checking out the Swim and Tonic Royal Caribbean's first swim up bar at sea. I'm very excited about this. Look at this. All of these loungers in the water and there is your swim up bar. So it can just load up to where you're sitting and you can order your drink. And this might be the best bar menu I've seen so far. Paige and I could not find a single one on here that didn't look good. I'll take one for the team here. Woo. Water is kind of chilly. We've had a couple of chilly days in a row, but uh, Look at this. Imagine just swimming up, grabbing your drink, laying in the sunshine. Mm. This is a cool spot. 
They've got seating all along the bar. There's like little booth seating over there overlooking Central Park. You've got a table here. First time you've ever been able to swim up and grab a drink. It's a pretty cool experience. Now these casitas you do have to get for the day. You are gonna pay extra for these. It's depending on availability and demand and things like that. But then these are not. So again, the seating is so interesting. I mean, this is just about as good. I guess you're not gonna have the plugs and the exclusive roof over your head, but this is still such a cool spot to hang out and enjoy the view, and it's free. This one's my favorite. This one and that one right there. Once. You're on your own little peninsula, just in your own little world. Now these spaces will change and transform, so like right now, no pool chairs out there because you've got the band, but when we're at sea, they're gonna take all of these chairs and lay them out all over the deck so you have more places to sit. Now, we do have a way down to deck 15 that takes a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Kind of a fun thing, just a little itty bitty slide that goes down there. Another one of those things, it's like, was that needed? Absolutely not, but is it really cool? Absolutely. And then, the another lime and coconut. But it's frozen, Miami Vice, oh, mango sunrise. A specialty lime and coconut with frozen cocktails. If you're trying to chill out and keep it cool. This is your spot. And then there's also a staircase that leads up to this frozen lime and coconut from deck 15 over by the Royal Bay Pool. So imagine grabbing a frozen cocktail, walking down to your little chair in the pool, having a great day, and more binoculars so you can creep on people. It's also worth noting this is a full service bar with beers on tap and everything. They just have the frozen drinks on top. Yeah, the it's, frozen are special. If you're looking for food or drink, you are not gonna have to go far. No. We promised them the pretty stairs. Are we gonna take them? We're going to the pretty stairs. So it is kind of interesting. Like we said, it kind of flows a little bit. You've got to learn the flow of the ship. So to get to that side of deck 16, we have to go down to 15 and back up. The right side of deck 16 has crown's edge and a couple other things. We're going to show you those in a second, but we wanted to start it strong. The back side of this ship is like nothing you have ever seen before. It's where we have spent so much of our time, over 50% of it. It is so incredible. It's so much fun. It's got something for everyone. Like. They have absolutely outdone themselves here. I don't think I've ever been so excited for the activities on a trip as I was for Icon. And they're better than I thought they were going to be. Honestly. I'm going to be honest, I didn't think there was any way they could live up to the hype. And everything we had heard and all the renders and all the firsts and all the just insanity. Like how could it actually live up to how excited we were? Yeah. And it blew it out of the water. Sound like a total fanboy right now. That's fine. I 100% I am. And it has been an amazing trip so you far. You guys know that we only tell you about stuff we love because we love it. So when you're watching this, you're like, they just, they're just on Royal. No, it is so stinking good. You guys, every new person that gets on the ship, we're like, you gotta check it out, you gotta check it out. They're so good. The pretty stairs lead you to Thrill Water Park. This is unbelievable that this is on a ship. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. When I don't... When you get this and you get in Thrill Island, it doesn't feel or look like a ship at all. No. You are straight up just in like a, a legitimate water park. It, it's a water park, but it just so happens to be an icon of the seas. This is... Paradise, babe. It is so good. So this is the Category 6 water park. There are six slides. We have a video dedicated to this coming out. I'll throw a couple little POV clips on the slides. They are actually really, really good. And when I say good, I mean like all water slides on the ships are good. Like I love the toilet bowl slide on previous ships and like right. some of the colored rings and stuff, but these are actually kind of intense and kind of a little bit scary, which is fun. That purple one, when you guys watch the video, I'm screaming and giggling the entire way. <laughs> so you've got two different slide towers. This one has three slides on it. You've got two raft slides and then a body slide. And the raft slides are very special because I believe they're the first ones at sea ever. We've also got another slide tower over here. This has dual mat racers as well as 
the frightening bolt, which is a trapdoor slide that you I drop. That it is so insane. It's so fast. It's this orange one right here. It's so good. But truly, this this is Thrill Island. We were in Chill Island before with all the pools and all the bars and everything. Welcome to the thrill side of things. You've got both options. Kind of like Perfect Day at Coco Cay. It is. It's like a little baby Perfect Day. Now, still on deck 16, opposite side of the pretty stairs. We've got to save the very, very back for last because it's so impressive. This is Crown's Edge, a new thrilling experience where you dangle yourself off the side of the ship. We have done so this. Much scarier than I thought it was gonna be. We've done this a couple times. We really, really enjoyed it. I'll be honest, it is very expensive. I think it's ninety dollars. But you get the whole thing filmed. And and you get it on video. So we're gonna see the the finale here. A little spoiler alert. You get. F oh, she's not going very fast. I feel like mine was going way faster. Oh, that might be it. But you're standing there and you don't know when it's gonna happen and they have control over it. So it's not even like you can watch other people in time when it goes off. And honestly, the sports staff is really fun. Like they, they kind of chirp you and, and mess around with you, they which is great. They wanted to be freaked out. It, it was fun, but I thought it was fun until it got on there. And then I was like, I actually don't know about this. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, you can see the cameras. Everyone has a camera. Your entire thing is recorded. It's uploaded to the app. The video is included with that purchase price, which yeah, is that's, nice. That's really cool. It's definitely very steep. I know it's not going to be for everyone. I had a hard time justifying that price, but then when you like step out and you're looking down over the water, it is really cool. That is something that you you genuinely can't get anywhere else. Right. This guy here is the one that has the button. So he'll sit there and he'll talk to you and he was messing with me. He's like, yo, do you see Cuba? Where's Cuba at? He kept telling me, you don't have to be scared. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Not for everyone, but definitely very cool. Let us know if you're brave enough to do this. Of course, every Royal Caribbean ship has a rock wall. This one is massive. It is. I love that you have all the different levels and they progressively get harder and oh gosh, taller as you go up. So we haven't done this yet, but we're definitely going to be doing it this week. I won't be able to do the red. I can guarantee you that. Anybody who does, I'm going to be super impressed. I bet Mark can. I bet he can, yeah. Here we have Base Camp, which is a bar and eatery where you can hang out in the middle of Thrill Island to take a little load off and relax. Base Camp has a unique menu. It really does. So down here we have our complimentary items. You can get hot dogs, warm pretzels, and tater tots. And then you also have items for purchase. Now, I know on a cruise, you kind of expect most of the food to be included. Yeah. These are so good though. Like hot Wisconsin cheese curds, the this waffle thing. chicken nugget. It's, it's literally a chicken nugget inside of a waffle. It's a Belgian waffle, it's wild. You can see the chef back there with the waffle makers like it it's delicious it's not something i would eat at every day but it's kind of a fun thing to come out here and have, have to try it. a special treat yeah. and of course if you're feeling nervous about the frightening bolt or crown's edge or anything like that you've got a bar here liquid courage, liquid courage. get ready to go then we have lost dunes now guys when we were in finland they told us this was going to be the most difficult of the mini golf they've ever created you're not lying. A lot of the mini golf courses are pretty flat. I'm being honest. Yeah. Unlike the older ships, they're flat. Look at what we have going on here. There's so much verticality. The theming obviously is on point. This one you can hit around or you can hit through here for a guaranteed hole in one if you can do it. If you guys have watched our videos for a while, you know I talk a lot of trash on the mini golf. I'm keeping my mouth shut. I'm we are going. absolutely going to have to do at least a segment in one of the vlogs. Trev and Chels, like full scorecarded actual mini golf competition. All 18 or nine or however many there are. Seriously though, we've got plane wrecks, we've got pirate ship wrecks, we've got submarines, like this is insane. Being from Orlando, we see a lot of putt-putt courses all over iDrive and things like that. This looks like something you would see on iDrive and it's just a complimentary experience here in Icon. Yeah. Pretty nice. Have a putter and go. If you're feeling sporty, the sports court is above base camp. This is on real this has to be one of the best basketball courts on planet earth turn around you're literally in the sky you're playing basketball at sea unobstructed views just a wall of glass here wall of glass on the other side looking at the water park you've got pickleball you've got dodgeball you've got 3v3 tournaments you've got so many things that happen in here you even have a viewing area a place for people to come and watch not to mention the court itself is beautiful right all the colors and everything this 
is spectacular. One thing that I really like is that it's out of the way. It used to be so clustered when people were waiting for their turn or like watching the dodgeball tournament and stuff. It's so nice that it's its own space now. So if you're trying to rage, you've got your own private space, but you're also not taking up really valuable real estate down here. Yeah. Good idea, Royal. Of course, we've got a flow rider. But I'm gonna give you guys three seconds to tell us how it's different, ready? Okay, this is the first one that's facing out to sea instead of facing the ship. So all your pictures and everything. Yeah. Well, it's face. It's facing the ship. We know what you mean. Like when you're looking at it, you're looking out at sea instead of looking back at the ship, which is pretty cool. Huge difference, actually. I mean, look at that. Flow riding with the Miami skyline in the background. Come on. We have spent so much time on this thing so far. You've also got a really nice viewing and hangout chill area. Camera's overheating because we're recording so much and we're out in the sunshine. It's getting kind of hot. Look at this, seating, themed seating. They made surfboard benches for this spot. These were specifically made. Why? It wasn't needed. But is it really cool? Absolutely. The theming of this ship is off the charts. Like think about how much they spent to build these. And they're just, it's two benches here by themselves. It's wild. Well done. Now if Aquadome was our favorite spot on the ship, let us show you a close second. This is Hideaway. So Chels, what is the hideaway? The hideaway is our adult only section. So it is 18 plus, and in our opinion, it's some of the best real estate on the ship. It is so nice. I can't even begin to tell you how long I have spent in these hot tubs, these it whirlpools. With double whirlpools, and they're big. Do I even need to say it anymore? The seating, look at this giant, you could fit 30 people in this. Maybe you need to go into interior design. How cool is that? So you've got a ton of seating here and you've got a ton of space to lay out here. Now you could probably hear in the background, the music is always a vibe because down there is a live DJ. This is very much like an elevated Vegas pool party, like that style of vibe. Now as we go downstairs, we have uh, the world's first suspended infinity pool at sea. This is such an incredible spot. At sunset, the sun is going down over the horizon and you are here. Daybeds cost extra, so you're probably not in your daybed or you might if you're a baller, but you're here in this pool looking off into infinity. It is a feeling like no other. Imagine pulling out of one of those beautiful ports, the Caribbean ports with all the... The mountains. mountains just, oh. This and the Overlook are our favorite because they have such a different vibe. This and the Overlook. They like it. They're, they don't feel like they're a part of the ship. Even Category 6 doesn't really feel like it's a part of the ship. Obviously, it all goes together, but they're so different in the way they feel and look and... When you're sitting here, you would never know that that's right there and vice versa. Look at this. Oh, I cannot believe they did that. Deck 15 down to deck 7. I love how it's like the kiddie play area down there and then it's the adults rage area up here. And of course back here in the corner we had to have a bar. So welcome to the hideaway. They have some... This bar gives me Palm Beach vibes. 100% and they've got some really interesting cocktails. I can give you guys a little preview, open it up. Lots of like gin based, very light. Instead of a Mai Tai, it's the oh my god. <laughs> it is so good. This place is such a vibe. Again, the seating, the tables, like this truly feels like you are in Miami, which we currently are, but it takes a slice of Miami all over the Caribbean. And over on this side, we've got our DJ. Obviously, he's not here right now, so we're on a playlist, but he spins. It's sick. It's a vibe, especially at night. I mean, every space on the ship is so good during the day, also so good at night. I mean, grab a cocktail, enjoy the views as the sun goes down, listen to music. There's nothing better. Last but not least for the pool decks, I'm almost out of breath. This is insane. So Cloud 17, Deck 17, pro tip, this has the nicest beach chairs of the pool. So you've got chairs here which have the, the cushion on them. Look at the loungers also have the cushion on them. So if you're looking for a very supple place to park your butt and lay in the sun, this is the place to be. You've also got the, the wine glass whirlpool over there and you overlook the rest of the pool deck. I love how green this ship is. 
I really, really like these, the little flower things, all the green and yellow on the walls. The green is, is beautiful, so tropical, yeah. so real Caribbean. I feel like but oftentimes you, you think blue. There, but look, when you look over there, it's blue and purple. Right? It's like two completely different shit. It's wild. I mean, look at this. You remember those casitas? This isn't a whole lot different. These are not. And it's complimentary. So, yeah, Cloud 17, great spot to hang out. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without yet another one. Another lime and coconut up here. Three stories. This is the final lime and coconut of our two. <laughs> Maybe one day Royal Caribbean's gonna go for four stories, but three is gonna be hard to beat. That's insane. Also, the Cloud 17 pool, which I'm gonna be honest is kinda funny. It does. Also a really cool view, though. It's a cool view, but this. <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't spent any time in here. Maybe I'm judging it. It is a really funny looking pool. Look at how, so you've got like the little waiting area. I like a little area where you can sit and have the water a couple inches, but like. That's where I normally sit on a cruise ship pool. What's the point of that? It's beautiful. I, I don't know if this one's gonna be as popular, so maybe it's gonna be a good spot. We'll have to test it out and report maybe back. it's just like a little plunge, like you just plunge and get out. Like you're hot, you're, you're laying here and you're hot, so you just dip, yeah. get a little, little dip in there to cool yeah. off. I don't know, but let's continue on to the suites. Take it all in one last time. That is the icon of the Seas pool deck. Wild. It's, there's no way, I feel like it's impossible to see it all. There's no other pool deck at sea like this. It's something you kind of have to experience, but hopefully you guys got the gist. Now on deck 16 and 17, we do have Coastal Kitchen. This is the suites only sit down restaurant. So we've eaten here a couple times. The food is fabulous, but you do have to have suite access in order to have access. Or to Pinnacle Coastal Club. Kitchen. Or Pinnacle Club, yeah. yeah. Very elevated experience. The food is delicious. It's a very nice place, nice and quiet definitely an older crowd in there so yeah. it's it's kind of a different vibe from all the chaos on the rest of the ship so if you're looking for a nice place to kick your feet up and you want to spend some money on a suite this is one of the amenities you get but let's go check out the sweet sun deck <sighs> we're on deck 18 of 20 we are getting there babe <laughs> this has been such an incredible thing Welcome to the sweet neighborhood. This is where you get to get away from the regular folk and enjoy your private sun deck. Oh my goodness. So this, you gotta think about it. Right now, this is kind of like a preview event. There's quite a few people in here. There are not gonna be this many people. It, it's only reserved for suite members. So it's gonna be a very low key, very bougie, very upscale experience. Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> plenty of seating, plenty of loungers, plenty of space to lay out that. Oh my gosh, that is insane, Charles. That's beautiful. We've got a bar over here. We've got a little plunge pool right here. What are these things? I feel like this would work with our house, Charles. It would. If we could tie it up on the balcony or something, that is... Pretty cool. Really nice looking shower. Tons of super plush seating. Cloud 17's got nothing on this. Yeah, that's even softer. Oh my gosh, look at the, the fabric here. Oh, wow. I think we're gonna have to come back and book a suite. I think, I think we need a week of pampering. Maybe a, a massage every day and just sitting up here and taking in the joys of life. More of the blue and green vibes. They're everywhere. Yeah. Those are cool. And it even extends up to deck 19. This is wild. Which is more sun deck and seating. So if you're in a suite, you're getting lots of sun on your vacation. I can tell you that right now. Oh, this is so cool. So this is the second highest deck on the ship. Deck 20 technically isn't a real deck. I guess it is technically. technically it's the water slide yeah. tower, the top of the water slide tower. So you guys will see that in other water slide videos and stuff, but it's the one with the frightening bolt we were talking about earlier. I love this vibe with like the ropes tied on and stuff. Wow. I, I love the adventure, but I would really like to just come and sit here for a week and like actually take it easy. This is nice. Just about to do a high dive down into Central Park. Yeah, some of the team said that this kept scaring them because they were walking through and thinking it was a person. <laughs> so we just have 360 degrees of seating up here. Wow, I can't believe this goes all the way around too. That's wild. Comes all the way back around. Got some more daybeds on this side. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is a nice spot too. 
This might be my favorite couch I've seen on the ship. Oh, we found it right at the very end. And we've We're got a little... First, folks, from the interior decorator, Trevor Martin. Well done. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Last but not least, we've got our 